Hi guys, it's Ordekai and welcome to Sonic Mania again. Um, the last few recordings that I made, I played them off as episodes and they didn't really turn out that well. So I hope you guys can uh, put up with me sort of revamping this series and uh, I'm going to be playing through the, uh, well, playing through the game again. I only got to play the first three zones on my last playthrough, quote unquote. But um, yeah, this time hopefully I can um, yeah, play more for you guys. Hopefully it should look better, but I am going to warn you that there will be choppiness throughout this, so I hope you guys can put up with a little bit of that. Um, I tried to find the best capture, screen capture thing out there, so it would actually, uh, you know, look good, look better for you guys. So uh, that said, let's get into it, and uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, Sonic is literally uh, my favourite games in general, just uh, especially the Genesis games and the handheld games. I obviously have an affinity for the 2D games, just really love it. Anyway, that's, uh, uh, we've got a cutscene here. I'm telling you, with this game, they really outdid themselves. I mean, just look how different. Like, look at the backgrounds, and they've got the little water running down. Like, that's beautiful, man. So it's obviously, this is Eggman <laughs> with his uh, with his egg egg bots. I don't know what you call them, egg pawns. Some uh, nice, nice visual effects right there. Keeping it classic, I like it. All right, we're starting off in Green Hill Zone. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Green Hill Zone since uh, <laughs> since it came out. That's obviously a lie. I know I'm not the first person to make that observation, but uh, yeah, Green Hill Zone. We are back, and uh, I've got to tell you guys that it actually feels good to be back in Green Hill Zone for once. Because I mean, this is the thing. I played Sonic Generations and I agree that Sonic Generations is a good game, however with the classic Sonic, I really really wasn't a fan of the gameplay, not at all. Um, I really wasn't a fan of it, They're just the mechanics and the gameplay just felt weird, um, but that's just me, that's just me, I'm not saying that you guys have to agree with that, but yeah it feels good to actually finally get a 2D, where am I going? Get a good 2D Sonic game that is, you know, is quite like this, and I honestly feel that they really outdo themselves with this. I mean, it's made by fans for fans, as they say, right? So, hey, I, 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 I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. I've got a shield right here. That is not the first time I made that mistake. <laughs> um, but yeah, Green Hill Zone. It's obviously a Sonic One stage, the third ever state stage in Sonic One. I never really played Sonic 1 that much as a kid because um, the first ever game I played in just in general was Sonic 2 alongside Street Fighter and what have you. Um, got a special stage right here. Yeah, alongside Street Fighter 2 and Kid Chameleon for the Sega Genesis um, or the Mega Drive as we call it over here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the first game I played was Sonic 2 and uh, me and my uncle would sort of uh, play. He was obviously better than me. And uh, yeah, me and my brothers would play it as well. It was, it was good times, good times. But yeah, that's how I got introduced to the franchise. And ever since, I've just, I really love Sonic. I really have. Um, again, if you experience any slowdown, especially during the 3D parts, I do apologize. There's not really much I can do about it. I do have a pretty terrible PC. But in any case, uh, but yes. For those of you who don't know, the Blue Spheres. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know this for quite a lot of time, like, uh, but yeah, the blue spheres, they speed you up, I think. Yeah, they do. And the rings, I got the emerald. That, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. And the rings, uh, give you give you time. Give me the emerald. I love the music. I love the sound. I love everything about this game. I mean, even just that, just that intro right there to the zone, like, it just gets you so hype. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. We've got a boss right here. It's weird that like Eggman isn't really in this. It's sort of like it reminds me of how they did uh, the bosses in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where you would have the mini boss, but it wouldn't have Eggman inside them. <laughs> right, that was Act One. Feels good. Catching indeed. Alright, let's uh, get in this uh, little uh, zip line thing. Another staple from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I think, anyway. Okay, let's. Uh, 
love getting the invincibility in this game, these games, like it's so rewarding. <laughs> no, I wanted to go up there. But yeah, just, uh, they, they, they kept everything about this game, they, I personally think they did better than, than Generations did, honestly, because it feels like a 2D Sonic, a 2D Sonic game, like it's, it's classic. It's just, just, just good times, man. It's just good times. I love it. Okay, we got a, we got a special ring down there. I, I want to get that. I don't know how though. I guess I'm just. No, no. What did I do? Okay. <laughs> did I just screw it up for myself? Let me see if I can go back up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can. Use that classic. Finger. Sorry about the mic bump, guys. We'll get this. Whoa, speed shoes. Okay, I could actually use this. Okay, okay, okay. How do I? Yes, yes! Ah, Awesome. Fire shield for the win. Even though the electric shield is better, in my opinion. But anyway, it throws you right in. Um, again, I'm not going into this blind. I have played this one, but apart, f but apart from that, I have not played the third Emerald Challenge. At all. I don't know what it looks like or how it plays. But, uh, nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't expecting to be, for that to happen. All right. Now I have, uh, I, I actually have beat this challenge, but it's significantly harder. They introduced the mines in this one. And if you lose your rings, you lose time. Um, and that's not the first time they've done that actually, because they usually do the, the, the rings to time currency with like, if you ever turn supersonic which is interesting, they put that in an emerald stage, but I, I mean, I guess it's only like poetic, right? It's obviously supersonic, there's only supersonic with the emeralds, which is what we're getting right now. So I'm just going to take a few loops around, I think now I should be fast enough to get the emerald, so let's, uh, don't bump into anything or lose your rings. Right now I'm going to try and take the inner roots, see if I can catch up to this, this baby. We go. We're gaining on it. We're gaining on it. Take the inner, the inner corners, and yes, we got the second emerald. That is boss. Do you guys like the harmony that I no? <laughs> that I added. <laughs> That's fine. You don't have to like it. I like it. <laughs> Gamer gets super defensive about his singing or lack thereof capabilities. Anyway. Whoa. I don't think that was in the last one, but yeah. So yeah, the music for this game, as you can clearly hear, they upgraded the hell out of it um, while keeping it classic. I think the music is probably one of the best moves that they've ever <laughs> made. <laughs> so much passion has gone into it. And to oh, that's a fire shield. That's fine. And to say that I was never really a fan of Green Hill Zone's music, um, yeah, they really outdid themselves. I'm actually going to go back there, I think, and try and... Nope, never mind. Ooh, I almost lost every ring I ever had. <laughs> I said... Sorry. I mean, I know I'm not the only one that sings along to... So the good sonic music. All right. We got extra here introducing the boss from Sonic Three. I can't remember. It's either, it's three or two. <laughs> Watch it be one, and I'm just I'm just I just didn't know. Whoa, whoa, tails! Oh no. Ah! Oh, I got. Pa I want to keep my rings. I got a lot. I got a lot. So let me be smart about this. <laughs> I instantly be dumb about it. Okay. Okay, you can face for his legs. That's good. That's good. Okay. And Tails got a hit on him, which is. Oh, I killed him. Yes. Oh man, I got to keep my rings. Oh, the the, te the tension was so real, guys. Let's see if we can. Ah, I got it. Nice. Da, 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 da. Nice. And we got a life. 
I think that is the the the, the, the a good way to end the, the gameplay. Just real quick, we're gonna got a cutscene. I like how they jump down and it's like he's right there. <laughs> See, he's, he's in the machine that you destroyed, and like, you you don't get to see, that is awesome. That is awesome. You get to see what happens after you defeat Eggman, like, that is, that is rad. And we get dubstep teleported to... Whoop. The shake, the shake! Okay, I'm sorry, I just, I love that. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the gameplay right here. I'd just like to thank you all for watching, and for putting up with a little bit of the choppiness. That said, we will continue in part two with chemical plants. Uh, okay, well, we're good. <laughs> that said, thank you guys for watching and later.